Hey, what's up? The Operation iDroid here, and I am pleased to be showing you in this video how to get GBA for iOS 2.0, a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and a Game Boy Emulator available for all iOS devices running iOS 7 and above, created by the amazing developer Riley Testa. Alright, so let's get GBA for iOS 2.0. To do this, we're going to open Safari, and in the URL, we're going to type in the web address for the official website of GBA for iOS 2.0, which is GBA for iOS app.com. And now when you get to the website, you're going to go ahead and click on download GBA for iOS 2.0. And you'll get a screen like this. From here, go ahead and click on download GBA for iOS 2.0. And then click install. And this will begin to install your GBA for iOS 2.0. And now once it installs, I'm going to go ahead and move it because I like having it in the position where I'm putting it. And when you go to open it, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to open the application GBA for iOS? And then you're going to go ahead and click continue. And once the application opens, you'll get another prompt. And it says, welcome to GBA for iOS 2.0. If at any time the app fails to open, please set the date back on your device before February 19th, 2014. Then try opening the app again. Once the app is opened, you can set the date back to the correct time and the app will continue to open normally. However, you will need to repeat this process every time you restart your iDevice. Now, the reason this prompt is here because some of you may know GBA for iOS 1.6, the original one, was shut down by Apple because they're not big fans of emulation. So if that ever does happen, you'll need to do this. But if you guys continue to follow me and my channel, then I'll let you guys know if this ever does end up happening. But anyways, let's go into exploring this incredible application. Okay, so I'm sure the first thing you want to do is get a game and actually play with your new emulator. And this is extremely simple on GBA for iOS 2.0 thanks to the in-app web browser. And all you have to do is click the plus sign on the top right and this will open a page to CoolROM.com for Game Boy Advance ROMs. And then from here, I'm sure you all know how to navigate. You can either go through featured games, browse by letter, browse by genre, Top 25 download and top 25 rated and you guys can find your favorite Game Boy Advance game. But I'm going to be downloading Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team for video purposes because as some of you may know this game did not work on the original GBA for iOS. So all you have to do is scroll down, click on download. It'll say by tapping download below you confirm that you legally own a physical copy of this game. GBA for iOS does not support piracy. And then you can actually rename the game after you click download, um, either to whatever you like. I usually like to keep the name that GBA for iOS gives it. And you'll know that your download has begun because under all GBA and GBC, there'll be a purple loading bar. And when that is complete, your game will be downloaded. Now, of course, these download speeds depend on your Wi-Fi or cellular data connection. As well as if you want a direct link to the Game Boy Color Cool ROM page, then click on GBC and then the plus sign. But anyways, let's head over into the settings by clicking the gear at the top left and scrolling down. Now, the first setting I want to show you is Dropbox Sync. Go ahead and turn that on and follow the instructions that it gives you. Make sure that you already have the iOS application of Dropbox installed because with Dropbox Sync, it will sync your saves to your Dropbox just in case you ever delete your game your saves will be saved but anyways the next thing is software updates GBA for iOS 2.0 will still be able to be updated in the future so make sure that you check that periodically or continue to follow me and my channel and I will keep you up to date with all the software updates but anyways let's go ahead and open the game as you can see it is working just fine and now if you click on the bottom left of the skin the menu It'll give you this pause menu here, and I'm going to be showing you the save state. And this is a staple when playing games. If you press the plus sign, it will save wherever you are in the game. And whenever you load that state, it'll take you exactly to where you were before. So as you can see, as I load the state, it takes me back. But something else I want to show you is that an auto save was created when I loaded the state. And that's a cool feature of GBA for iOS 2.0, is that whenever you load a state or return the, to the menu, as I just did here, and as you can see on the bottom, it's syncing to Dropbox. And now if I click on the game, it'll ask me to resume or restart. And this is really cool because if I restart, it'll auto save where I was before. But I encourage you guys not to rely on auto saves because they do happen without you noticing. So just use regular save states and load states or save in game. 
but as you can see, this game is working perfectly. Almost every game works perfectly on GBA for iOS 2.0. If you find a game that does not work, I recommend that you either tell me or tell the developer, Riley Testa, on his Twitter account. But that's all for now, guys. This is the basic features of GBA for iOS 2.0. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And now that you have GBA for iOS 2.0, you might be wondering, how do I get my saves from the original GBA for iOS 2 2.0? And now I have a video on that, so if you would like to learn how to do that, click on the top left hand corner or follow the link in the description. As well as if you want to learn how to use the most anticipated feature of GBA for iOS 2.0, then click on the bottom right or follow the link in the description. And finally, as I mentioned before, if you want to stay up to date on everything emulators on iOS devices as well as GBA for iOS 2.0, then please subscribe. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the operation.